Hey guys, it's Jimmy Pat, and I'm coming to you with a special video for my best friend in the entire world, Jordy. Happy birthday, by the way, Jordy. You know, I'm not gonna forget that. Um, so this question was, is it easier as a beginner to bulk up first, or get lean, or, and what is a good time to tell when to switch? So first things first, um, it's very goal intensive when you make that decision. Um, if your goal is to gain mass, then it's a lot easier to start with bulking. And like I said, it's really dependent on what your goal is. If you're just looking for general fitness, you can really just stay lean and you can, you know, train differently. But if your goal is like really get big and gain that mass, bulking is, I would definitely recommend that first thing you should try to do. And when I say bulking, obviously there's your dirty bulk and then your clean bulk. And a perfect world, you should do a clean bulk. But I mean, as a beginner, dirty bulking is probably just a more realistic way how you would do it. And the way you tell when it's time to switch, again, it's, it's very personal to the, like to who you are and what your goal is, because what some people say is not a good point to start cutting. Some people say you need to get more. Some people say you should, say you should gain 40 pounds plus and then shred back down. I know me personally, whenever I'm trying to bulk up and lean down, my natural body weight at the moment is about 190, 187, kind of that range. So if I was gonna bulk right now, which I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of maintaining my weight, I would bulk up to about 220, 230, and then I would shred all the way back down to my natural body weight. And that's what I would do. And like I said, as a beginner, like the way you tell when it's time to start shredding down is, look yourself in the mirror. I mean, do you, if, if you reach that, what you think is, you know, the correct size for you or, in most people's cases, you no longer feel comfortable because you can't see your abs anymore. <laughs> um, you could either, like I said, that, that could be your, uh, your, you know, your trigger to start uh, shredding down. Um, like I said, so it, this is very personal on that one. I mean, it's, I mean, if you want to base it off BMI, I mean, once you start getting past, you know, as a guy, 25% plus, I mean, am I, I mean, me personally, I try to maintain around 10 to 12, unless I'm competing and I go a little bit, you know, less, but, if you're starting to breach over that, you know, well into like you got a lot of fat, then I mean I would recommend start, you know, shredding down. But yeah, this is really intense to your goal. So just just to summarize, like look yourself in the mirror and say, hey look, I've I've gained 30 pounds, 40 pounds, whatever. Um, I don't like how my body is looking, or I think this is about this is a good way for me to start cutting now. So Competing wise, I try to go 20, 30 pounds plus more my natural body weight is. For just general fitness and trying to reach a goal, like I said, you could just whenever you just look in the mirror and say, hey, you know, I can't see my abs no more. I want to start seeing my abs again. So that's that's a good trigger there too. Jordy, man, I'll hold this to answer your questions, man. Happy birthday, man. You still owe me that phone call this weekend, man. We got to catch up. You know, it's been a while. But uh, tell me what you think, man. Uh, you know, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, don't forget to dream and achieve. <laughs>